I'm very honored to introduce to you Don Fields of Fragile Storm. I saw this trailer and I immediately said, I want to see this, except I thought it was going to be a feature. And then I was a little disappointed that it was only 10 minutes, but it's still 10 <laughs> minutes of a lot of really good stuff called yes. Fragile Storm. Tell us about it. Yes. Um, well, Fragile Storm, at the heart of it, is a, a short film about promises mm -hmm. and what links you might go to to keep a really important promise to someone that you love. That's the, the ultimate story behind it. Mm -hmm. Um, when, but when the movie starts out, you kind of think it's one thing, and then you realize it's something else. And mm -hmm. there's a twist there that obviously we don't want to give away. But yeah. but you um, have to watch, and it's only ten it. minutes, so it's not that hard yeah, to, to get to that point. Yeah, seven and, and a half without credit. Oh so yes, okay, all right. For you short attention spanners. And, and we're here with Jody Jarris now. Jody, you're in the film as well. You know, when you first got this project presented to you and you read it, what did you think? Oh, oh, I cried. <laughs> I cried. I I did, and I thought oh, I really want to do this film. I really want to do it. Please let the audition go well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it did. Yeah, thank you. Thank what you. happened when you first saw her? Uh, well, uh, not to give too much away, but uh, we were looking for an older actress to play, uh -huh. have, have a certain roles. physical resemblance okay. to someone else. And so it was very, very hard. It took us a year and a half, actually, to find Jody. Really? I don't know if you even know that. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it, t it turned out to be kind of a physical thing that was a big part of it. But mm -hmm. in addition to that, the actress also had to have amazing chops. Right. Yeah. And she does. And Jody does. Thank yeah. you. Does. Thank you. So we yeah, were... I had to be able to talk and walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Right. And uh, this, this happened like a week before we were shooting. Really? Found so her. That... Down to the wire. What we would had... you have done if you didn't find her? Like, just <laughs> insert a 3D CGI, model? CGI. <laughs> um, wow, okay. maybe, maybe the film wouldn't get made yet? It like, would I don't have know. been longer than what it actually took. Oh, really, yeah, yeah, from the yeah. start? It would have been four years <laughs> before we got yeah, it made yet. It took three years to get the film made. Now, and people kind of don't translate that, because they say, well, wait a minute, it's a 10-minute short, and it took three years. What is a lot of that time doing? Well, we had a lot of stops and starts. For some reason, this particular film just seemed to be cursed from the start. Like, mm. everything that you could think to go wrong went yeah, wrong. It's a storm. Nobody it's wants a storm. to bring a fragile storm yeah, to... Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's one of those pieces where we just stuck with it. We're like, the script is too good, the mm. concept, the story, the message. It's like, I, I almost felt at one point, I'm going to... You know, I'm not going to my grave until I make this film. Oh. And so, and I literally meant that. Yeah. And uh, so we just stuck with that and we just kept going until we had the right people and the right situation and the right time. And it all magically came together last September. Interesting. And so it was at that time. And it's funny because a lot of people actually, you know, they, they think out of the door, oh, I've written it, I can cast it, and then just put it out there. And, you know, sometimes it's not that simple, but sometimes we learn a lot through that process of moments of failure. You know, I, I always say that you get the success from failures. What were some failures that you've, you've, you had to go through in your career in order to... <laughs> Jody's like, where did she start? Yeah, well, I will tell you this. I've been a producer for 20 years. Okay. And when we first started trying to make the film, we hired three different directors that mm -hmm. just for one, one reason or another just didn't work out. They were changing the vision. They weren't sticking with the script, all these various reasons. And so my team said to me, why don't you just step up and direct it? And I hadn't directed anything in 20 years. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, so I, I did it and I wasn't ready for it. And I wasn't ready to handle all the failures and the things that went wrong on set. And it, it shut down. Wow. And um, yeah, that was a big lesson. And, and I had to, to deal with that and take on all the responsibility of that. You know, as the director, everything's on you, regardless of whether it's actually that was your very fault. Brave or not. and co courageous of you. I mean, you know, when you know that something's not going in the right direction or the way you really envision it, mm -hmm. to have the, the guts to go ahead and say, I'm sorry, money, no money, whatever, we got to stop because this isn't it. Yeah, because this we, isn't it. We had tens of thousands on the line. We were on set with a crew of 40 people. We were halfway into shooting. Okay. And I pulled my team aside and I said, guys, the script deserves better than what's happening to it. Wow, wow. And everybody agreed and said, you're right. Everyone agreed, no questions. And so that we shut it down. Me. That was before oh. Jody. <laughs> yes. The, the uh, magic. It well, wasn't the acting. It, you know, it was also you not, you know, us responding to the earlier uh, uh, auditions, I, evidently. I didn't know yeah, about it then. Right. But you yeah. know what? You know, it, it brings the right people together if you have the patience or if you trust enough in your own voice to say, no, there's something, there's right. something out enough. there. Yeah. It's not it's ready. Not it's enough. not the time. It's yeah. not the moment. It's, yeah. it's just not the mix. You can't settle for mediocrity. Yeah. 
Interesting. You just can't. You have to, everything I do, I try to do the best I can possibly do it, and I don't stop until I get there. Well, you can tell that. Again, uh, you can see the uh, trailer in its full entirety. And how can people find out more information on Fragile Storm? FragileStorm.com is our website where they should go. And we're screening here at La Femme tomorrow at 12 o'clock noon. Yay. Uh, and so come out for that. And uh, yeah, I just want to wrap that up real quick by saying, you know, I spent the next year after that directing anything I could, volunteer mm -hmm. stuff, non-paid stuff. I directed like seven other shorts to prepare myself to relaunch this film properly. And that's what I did. And, and that's what and we did. she knew what she wanted. I, I meant we I showed up and she knew what she wanted. And she had all the people around her that she knew would give her. Mm -hmm what she wanted yeah. and and the vision and maybe a little more it was a perfect story yeah. uh, if, if it were <laughs> and you, <laughs> and you got her note. you got lance henriksen i mean i i'm excited to see this very good congratulations on all you're Thank doing you. and do more of it okay and i do want to say lance is absolutely amazing in this film if you think you know lance henriksen you don't, you don't. you see this film <laughs> okay all right yeah yeah, Aliens got nothing on this film. Yeah, Aliens, <laughs> Frank Black, I know Millennium's doing a comeback and all that kind of stuff, but, um, but you'll love him in this film. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.